Hello world. Welcome to Building Black Wall Street 2. This video is part two of Margin of Safety and we're going to go in depth on how to go about determining a company's margin of safety and where to find the information that will put you in a position to gauge what the company's intrinsic value is. This video and the videos I do in general are kind of an overview. If you're really serious about becoming an intelligent investor, then you would have to really get the books that I'm using to bring forth some of this information and really learn how to go about concluding the things like margin of safety or understanding Mr. Market and really get a better understanding of what it takes to be an intelligent investor. So please don't think that these videos are going to allow you to become an intelligent investor just by watching them. It takes years of learning and comprehending not only financial statements, but just the art of value investing. And also you have to have a specific temperament where you remain calm and your emotions don't get the best of you, especially when it's related to money. This is the Securities Exchange Commission's website, the SEC. And if you were trying to look at financial statements or just 10Ks, which are annual reports, which is basically the history from a financial standpoint and a planning standpoint of a company from year to year. This is where you could have all that information at your fingertips. And this is what would allow you to look at the assets the companies have and their liabilities, their revenues, their net income and all the financial information that you would need to begin to conclude what this company might be worth. And again, you are looking for a ballpark. I use Walmart just kind of as an example to get people to understand how to go about it. So my goal would not be to say Walmart is worth $400 billion on the nose. Rather, a better way to look at it would be they're worth between $400 to $500 billion. And the reason being is something that Buffett usually says, and he quotes uh, Keynes, the economist, who said it was better to be roughly right than precisely wrong. Anyway, the SEC has all the financial information for publicly traded companies. And you have to look at the information somewhat skeptically because those numbers might betray what's really going on. So you really have to have a good enough understanding of accounting because like Buffett says, accounting is the language of businesses. So in order for you to determine what that business is worth, you're going to have to understand their financial information. Now, I'm going to pull up Walmart's most recent 10K, which is their annual report, just so you see what it looks like and you have an idea of what you would be looking at to understand the nature of the business and the capital they use towards making a profit. This is all the information that Walmart has filed the most recently that's available in the SEC database. And again, if you are interested in looking at the financial information or just any information pertaining to any publicly traded company, it can be found at the Securities 
Exchange website. And this is a valuable tool for all those that want to interpret financial statements and get to the worth of a company and try to figure out what their intrinsic value is. Now, we're going to be looking at Walmart's most recent 10K, which the date on that says the 3rd of March 2016 is when they filed it. This is Walmart's consolidated balance sheet. It's their most recent one. And I'm just pulling it up just to show you that if you wanted to start looking at what Walmart's assets are, liabilities, the properties they own, and even to go in depth and get a better understanding of how they run their business, all that information is available to you at the SEC's website. The purpose of this is just to build on the margin of safety part one video I did pointing out that for us to truly be in a position to determine what a company's value is and whether that company might be selling under its value at the stock market, we have to analyze this financial information we're looking at. And that is how an intelligent investor capitalizes off of whatever the cause might be that causes the market to not understand or not price Walmart according to what it's really worth. And this is why Graham talks about us looking at purchasing shares as if we are purchasing a business, even if you're not purchasing the majority stake or that entire business, you want to approach it with that mindset because that allows you to analyze what you're actually getting and what it's worth. And once you've started to really understand how to assess a company's value, that puts you in a position to take advantage of any stock price that might not really appreciate or price the company at its real intrinsic value. So that would be what it would sell to a private business owner for. Even further, Graham went on to say in The Intelligent Investor that in the short term, prices represent a voting machine. It's kind of like a popularity contest. But in the long run, the prices of companies represent a weighing machine, meaning whatever assets or whatever value that company has is going to be recognized for the real value as opposed to for the value somebody might perceive based on whether other people are buying shares or whatever might cause people to speculate. That's why it's real important for us to look at financial statements in order to get an understanding of what a business is truly worth. This also puts you in a position, if you look, let's say, at the last 10 years, you can somewhat get an idea from a conservative standpoint of the earning potential or the average that the next five years can present which will put you in a better position to evaluate what the future might hold for that company. Again, from a conservative standpoint, to give an example of the companies used to making 10 million or billion for the last 10 years, then you can expect from a conservative standpoint that it might make 9 billion for the next five years annually. I'm going to close out this video by reading the final word from 
the Intelligent Investor, the first edition that Graham wrote in chapter 20. I believe the chapter is titled Margin of Safety. Graham said, investment is most intelligent when it is most businesslike. It is amazing to see how many capable businessmen try to operate in Wall Street with complete disregard of all the sound principles through which they have gained success in their own undertakings. Yet every corporate security may best be viewed in the first instance as an ownership interest in or a claim against a specific business enterprise. And if a person sets out to make profits from security purchases, and sales, he is embarking on a business venture of his own, which must be run in accordance with accepted business principles if it is to have a chance of success. I hope this video was beneficial to you and gave you a little insight on how to start to evaluate the worth of a business and the importance of a margin of safety if you're going to be buying shares of companies. If you want to learn more, I suggest you go buy The Intelligent Investor, the first edition, because this book, along with other books I've gotten the information from, are going to put you in the best position to truly be an intelligent investor. Stay blessed and stay tuned. Peace.